Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Sekiro. I'm Dude Long Couch, and at the end of the last video, guys, <laughs> it was a very long video. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half to beat the Guardian Ape. Very difficult, very trying experience, and I mentioned that I was going to take a break from this game. I've only met for like a day or, or so, <laughs> maybe like a couple days at max, and it turns out it's actually been almost a month. Uh, that wasn't intentional, I'm just an idiot. And sometimes I let things go, I get busy with other things. I always bite off more than I can chew on my channel, and it turns into a problem. But I do want to finish this game really badly. I really like this game, and I don't want to I don't want to forget how to play it completely, which, you know, could happen if you wait too long. I do remember that after we beat the Guardian Ape, we got a new prosthetic tool. So I came over here to talk to this guy, see if he can build it for me. その指をどこで手に入れた。落ち谷の獅子猿が食らっていた。そうか。猿の腹の中とはない。そいつは昔ね。お前さんの忍び義手に仕込んでやろう。Yeah, there's a whole backstory with this where the guy was saying that like he used to train down there with his partner. I think I don't know if it was like his partner or his lover or what. But then, um, yeah, the finger whistle. A prosthetic tool created by fitting a slender finger to the prosthetic. Its sound will grab an enemy's attention and draw them to the whistle's location. By locking onto a target, only the targeted enemy will hear the whistle. Oh, that's nifty. The sound of the finger whistle enrages beasts, making them unable to distinguish friend from foe. Attract enemy attention by blowing the finger whistle enrages beasts, making them unable to discern between friend and foe. And then if you're not locked onto a target, all the surrounding enemies will hear it. Okay, so for enemies, it just brings them over to you. But for beasts, it enrages them. That could be a good or a bad thing. Depending on the context, I guess. <laughs> all prosthetic tools. How about that, guys? Man, this was a really, really bad time to not play this game for a month. We just got all the prosthetic tools. Let's just look at this and see how we use it. It doesn't actually say. Uh, it's, oh, it's just R2. That's easy. Yeah, okay. And then let's take a look at any upgrades we might be able to possibly do right now. That's unavailable. Why is this unavailable? Because I don't have money for it. I got you. I'm not sure there's anything we really could do right now because I don't have much in the way of money because I died to the Guardian Ape about a billion times. So, yeah. I guess we can't do upgrades. You have anything else to say about that whole situation? He really doesn't. <laughs> he has absolutely nothing to say, guys. No fucks given. Alright, I've got Mortal Draw equipped. That's a pretty good move. It does cost spirit emblems. I've got Puppeteer Ninjutsu, which is a technique I really like. Let's see. Let's get the spear out of here. That thing has just failed me completely every time I've used it. I don't like it. Finger whistle costs three emblems. Jeez. It's just a whistle, man. But I guess that makes sense because it's really powerful, right? Uh, okay. And I did use the dragon rot thing. My unseen aid's back up to 30%. So everybody should be healthy right now. Okay. Let's talk to the merchant guy. Uh, let's talk to him. Yeah, I think we've heard that before. Okay, he does have another Dragon's Blood Droplet. I should buy that as soon as I can. Gourd Seed sold out. I still don't know if I need this three-story Pagoda memo. I know that you don't need these to actually find the thing they lead you to. But I don't know if I know where that is. If I've been there already. Like, I might have the thing that it leads to already. Okay. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm just... I'm just getting my bearings again. I apologize that I have to do this, but... You know how it goes. Light coin purse, two heavy coin purses. Okay, so I do have some money if I wanted to spend it. I don't really see the need right now. Let's, um...
Let's go back and talk to Kuro now that we've beaten the ape. He might have something new to say to us about where we're supposed to go. But I think I do need to explore in the Sunken Valley a little bit more, too. You know, it'll be nice to have a little bit of direction. Either way. Kind of like the giving tree. I don't have a gourd seed, right? Yeah, too bad. Wish I did. Yep, I make no promises, but I will do what I can, Emma. What's up, kid? Emma, do no Sakura no kino koto kiki mashita. Oh, do jatta. Sono Sakura wa toko Sakura to yobareru. タケル様が戦況よりもって来られた桜ですが今はもう枯れて残っておらぬようですそうかですが何者かが床桜の枝を倒り持ち去ったと言いますふん誰がそのようなことを失われたものは<笑> どうにもならぬな。持ち去られた枝にしても今は手がかりがない。先に他の子を集めることにしよう。ギョイ。Okay, so that's going to be the last thing we go after then, I guess. ミコ様、源の子の花手に入れました。おお、やはり落ち谷に咲いていたか。落ち谷の多くに。そこが源の水の流れが濃い場所だったということか。よく手に入れてくれた狼よ。ああ、そうだ。私の方も調べが進んだぞ。新たに必要な子が分かった。それは流院の巫女の血。つまり私の血だ。
尋常の方法では流れませんですがあなたはそれをなす術をお持ちです。See, I told you. 不思議理子。はい、こちらを。Idiots. Okay, Immortal Severance Scrap. Part of the Book of Immortal Severance left behind by Takeru. With mortal blade in hand, my blood may be shed. With my blood, the aroma will be complete. The divine realm will be in reach. Immortal Severance will be in hand. I must ask Tomoe to assist with the beheading. The beheading? Hi. Okay, but we don't have to actually behead him, right? Like, I feel like a cut on the hand would be just fine for our purposes. I'm also kind of surprised that the wolf is down with this. He hasn't offered any resistance. About the fact that we're actually going to harm the divine heir. You think that'd be like 100% against the code? Like, no, you must not be allowed to bleed. But I guess if Kuro is commanding it, then that overrides everything, right? Okami, Emma, do you hear the story? Yes. How did it go? Did you know anything? It's impossible to believe. That's right. ふしぎりならば私の血を流すことが叶うのだなはいうん試しにやってみぬか不思議理は本来は抜け抜くかとなそわりがあるやも知れませんこうおたくその時でよろしいかとうんそこまで言うならそうしよう Okay, so can you just tell me where to go next, please? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, oh, about the stone and about the Sakura tree. Okay. あの井戸底の先にそこの知れぬ深い穴があると聞いたことがあるもしやその先が足なの底かだが身を投げるとは一体ああ、ミスインサンティングわかりませんうーん確かによくわからぬ思い当たる場所がないか well, I originally thought about the about the abandoned dungeon, but I don't know how that relates to the moon view tower. I don't even know where the moon I don't know why I'm saying that weird. I don't know where the moon view tower is. I was combining moon and view. Moon view. Ugh, God. Okay. Yep. Nothing new there either. Well, we don't have much to go on right now. Um. I'll tell you what, before I forget, guys, there is one thing. I need to do since I healed everybody with the dragon blood droplet or whatever I should be able to go back and talk to that merchant that I was talking to before I guess I have a quest for him that I need to turn in and I couldn't do it before because he was sick but I should be able to now I just got to remember how to actually get there relatively quickly places all look the same to me. I'm not sure, like, where's where. <laughs> Underbridge Valley? No. That might be the one I want right there, the stairway. Let's try this one. Seriously, if I can give you guys a piece of advice, do not not play this game for a month. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> I feel so lost coming back in here. I'm like, okay, uh, what was... 
What was I doing? Where am I? Where am I at? What am I supposed to do? Where am I going? And then beyond all that, there's also the whole thing about, you know, combat. I'm going to have to fight people and I'm going to be absolutely freaking horrible. I'm going to get destroyed in my first fight. Let me see if I can at least kill this rooster here. Oh, I can't even jump up there. See? That's how terrible everything is now. I need to be able to... I can't grab the ledge there. I'm like an idiot child learning how to walk again. There we go. Alright, there's one kill. By the way, I'm so close to a point, I need to just knock out this point. Before I die and lose it like an idiot. Okay, stealth mode. These guys should be easy to kill, I think. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. We'll go find one more dude. But I think this is the merchant I need to talk to right here. This guy. Right, right, right. あいつ。もうけ時ですね。なに、塩があれば助かるものが多い。多少高く売っても、町は当たらぬでしょう。Good。そう時まれば塩を苦面せねば。Okay, does that mean he's going to have more stuff to sell to me? Not sure what the whole point of that was. He doesn't really have much, honestly. Okay. Oh, okay. So we probably just have to wait like an hour or so and then come back later. I gotcha, I gotcha. Cool. Yeah, I remember we eavesdropped on that conversation that the two soldiers were having about how much they needed salt. That actually makes sense when he was asking like, what, what do you think these guys need? I just never put those two together. Alright. So now that that's done, guys, I think what we need to do is go back... Let's go back here to this idol. I'm not sure that we're done down here. I think there were some other paths that we could take, and I know that the serpent's hanging out down here too. So we need to poke around and see what else is down here. After that, I guess we'll go to the abandoned dungeon. It's the only idea I have right now. Because that area by the well where we first started the game. Um, I've already explored that area pretty thoroughly. Like, it kind of leads back to where we started, but then there's also, like, that's where Seven, uh, Seven Spears of Sheena was. We killed him. We got the stuff there. Like, I don't know what else I could do there, really. Make the monkey dance. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think we already got that taken care of. So down there is where we fought the monkey. Back up this way, guys. There was... Wait, can I even get back there? There was like a whole gaggle of monkeys, which I'd actually like to test out this finger on. I'm gonna finger some monkeys. See what kind of effect it has on them. Except I can't grapple back that way, can I? I can only go forward from here. Oh, 
Oh, we have stuff down here, though. Hold up. Balloon of Soul. Huh. Not sure if this is where I want to go. I wanted to go back up top, but I don't think I can get there. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Gonna have to grapple again. Was ready for that. There's an area down here, and I don't think I've been down there. Look, there's an item. Yeah, we gotta get down there safely. I'm so scared right now, guys. I just know I'm gonna get absolutely demolished as soon as I encounter a real enemy. Alright, let's just jump down here, I guess safe. Oh, that's not safe. Oh, God. Let me up. Please let me up. Is this a joke right now? Oh. This stuff is not good for you. Not good at all. It comes at you pretty slow, though. So, actually, I think we're okay as long as we just keep moving. Oh, and I can run. Okay. Good. Well, I can kind of jog. <laughs> Except they're going to be dicks about letting me out of here. Dude. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Yay, coin purse. I love the coin purses. So this almost looks like a finger pointing upwards, but we've already been up there. So maybe I was supposed to come down and do this earlier, and then I just didn't. It's alright, though. We'll just backtrack a little bit. And if the game wants to throw me a couple monkeys to fight... Oh, who is that guy? Who the hell is that? Dude, he's dual-wielding katanas. And he does not care about walking through the poisonous sludge. Okay, I guess he's just... Off that way. I can't fight him in the sludge. That's never going to work out for me. Well, maybe. Hold up. All right. Yes! He gave me yellow gunpowder, and I got my points. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I feel a little bit braver now. Now if I die, it's not such a big deal to me. Oh, there's another merchant over there. Check it out. Yeah, there is a whole area down here to explore, guys. I didn't realize... Snap seeds. That looks inviting. What you got, homie? I will if you'll shut up. Maybe. Actually, I still don't have a ton of money. I've got 23. <laughs> so we found a lot of these people who have these different types of gourds. I'm not sure what they're all about yet. A curved moss-covered gourd filled with medicinal water refills upon rest. While it does not heal poison status, it reduces poison buildup and increases poison resistance. This gourd was made out of necessity by those that made poisonous lands their home. It said if you live there long enough, eventually poison won't affect you at all. So I guess the point of these different types of gourds 
is that they can kind of replace your consumable items because these refill upon rest. So it won't heal status, but it increases um, the status buildup that we get. In this case, poison. Which is a good thing. That would probably be a really good thing to have in this area. That's about the only useful thing this guy's got. Other than these dragon blood droplets, but I don't need to buy those right now. Why? Oh, God. <laughs> Your concern is very touching. <laughs> okay. So I guess there's an encounter with the snake waiting for us down there. Maybe I'll just peek around up here first. There's another path up here. I do wonder, if I spent all my money bags right now... Heavy coin purses are 500, right? And then light is 100, so I still wouldn't have enough to buy that poison gourd. So I'll have to come back for it later, I guess, if it's determined that I really actually need it. Which could end up happening with this area. There's, there's a lot going on here. In terms of poison status. What do we got? Like three enemies? Okay. Oh, no, there's some more monkeys there. Alright, let's see how this works. I'm targeting this guy. I whistle at him. And he just immediately starts fighting everybody else around him? Pretty dope. That's cool. Oh, that monkey has a gun. He shot his ass. Does it last forever? That's so cool. I love strats like that where I can make them do my work for me. Yeah, go get him. Get that other guy. Look, he's going for him. This is sweet. You got him? Yeah, that guy's dead. Well, no, he's not dead yet. There he goes. Kick his ass! <laughs> They're still fighting. I should get over there while they're distracted. Did he get him? Yeah, dude, that lasts... I guess it lasts until he dies. That is awesome. Thank you for your help. <laughs> oh, that's great. I wonder what would have happened... If I had not targeted him and then just used it, would that have enraged everybody? And when they're enraged, do they fight each other? Or do they only fight non-enraged people? I gotta test that. That requires some science, guys. Finding a lot of upgrade items down here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Fulminated mercury. Highly precious grains forming the base for a devastating form of gunpowder. Use an explosive prosthetic tool upgrades of advanced rank. Cool. So that's a new upgrade item, I think. Oh god, oh god. Oh, that was close. I think the status effect 
comes on quicker if you're running. So, in that regard, it actually doesn't really behoove you. Unless it's proportionally as fast. I don't know. If it's the same rate of, inf you know, quote-unquote, infection as it would be if you were walking, just, you know, proportionally as fast, then maybe it doesn't matter. Anyways. I guess this is it down here, huh? see anywhere else I can grapple to. I guess this is just a fun little side area. Get you some upgrade items and whatnot. wonder how I get those emblems up there. Well, that's easy enough, actually. Yeah, I think that's about all we got down here, guys. Come on. Okay, I wanted to grapple up there, but... It's not letting me... Shit! This feels like Skyrim. <laughs> with the janky jumping mechanics. <sighs> okay. I want to grapple to that branch up there. Come on! You're literally killing me. Literally getting me killed. Maybe I should try from over here. Why is this one grapple point being so ornery? Okay, well that's kind of annoying. I think that's how I grapple out of this area, but... <laughs> I can't actually get to it. Fine. Fine. Let's go to the damn cave. Very, very scared to do this. Because that serpent can totally one-hit kill me if he wants to. 